about the city of London by Kian Momo. London is a sensational tourist attraction as it is full of adventures and has the best restaurants, museums, parks and galleries and entertainment. It is full of magic, culture and history which is why it is one of the most visited cities in the world. It welcomes people from all over the world who are from different cultures, backgrounds and speak different languages which is why there is so much diversity throughout the city. Whether you are looking for arts, architecture, sports or just some fun, London has everything to offer. The British Library is the largest national library with 150 million catalogued items held inside, some even dating as far as 2000 BC. The British Museum is the right place for you if you are interested in learning about the history and amazing stories behind the development of such an amazing place. Big Ben was the nickname given for the Great Bell, is the most iconic landmark in London and is also a part of the Parliament House. So be sure to visit it on your next trip to London. If you have some spare cash lying around, then how about a trip to the Shard? It has amazing views of the city and you can dine on the 13th floor at the Shangri-La Hotel, but don't be surprised at the hefty price tag. If that wasn't up your alley, then the London I should definitely do the trick. It's the most famous landmark in the world. You have to visit it. And if you're bold enough, go on it. Or how about a nice troll on Tower Bridge? Feel the light breeze and vibe to the sounds of the Thames waters. Who wouldn't want to get a picture of Leonardo DiCaprio and make your friends jealous with it? Well, that can happen if you visit Madame Tussauds, where all of the famous celebrities are. Buzz wax statues. Hey, it's better than nothing, right? But how are you going to get around to visiting all these wonderful places, you may ask? Well, the London Underground is the best option. The London Underground is a rapid transport system serving Greater London. The Underground has its origins in the Metropolitan Railway, the world's first underground passenger railway. And would you be surprised if I told you that the DLR Dockland Light Railway runs without a driver? Well, it is true. In this city, there is no need for anyone to control these trains as they are computer controlled and remotely monitored. And don't get me started about nighttime in London. Even if the natural lights are off, the city is still 